I'm Dash Deshpande. I'm an entrepreneur in high technology. I grew up in India, so when I say I came to this country with $8 in my pocket, it sounds very dramatic. But all the things that you think you need, you really don't need. Where people get a start is not really that important. What's really important is the motivation. What really matters is that aspiration. Typically, as an immigrant, you always have an asymmetrical motivation. You know, people sometimes in the United States, when they grow up with all the comforts that they have, they take it for granted. You flip a switch, the lights come on, you turn the tap, the water comes on. They don't see the opportunity that they have around them. They really need to understand how lucky they are and how many resources they have that they can actually achieve anything they want. What they really need is that motivation and aspiration. We moved to Boston with the intention of actually starting companies. Sounds a little naive, you know, a couple of people walking to a big city and saying, hey, I'm gonna do some companies, but actually it worked out. I think one thing probably that really helps me out is optimism. I'm a very optimistic guy, you know, I think uh, I always feel like things are gonna work out. And so you get hit with something and it looks like the end of the world. But if you can just sit on it for a little bit, you know, things don't look as bad. You have to find your passion. You have to be very sure. You cannot just become an entrepreneur because you think in, in three, four years you're going to get rich and live happily ever after. They may or may not be successful in the first attempt, but then the chances improve in the second, if not the second, the third, if not the third, the fourth. So entrepreneurship should be perceived more as a career choice as opposed to a one-time lottery ticket. If you make a commitment, to actually pursue things that you really enjoy doing and you love doing, and you cut out everything else. To others, it may look like sacrifice because you're living on nothing and that's all you're doing, and you're doing 18 hours a day. But for you, that's the biggest gift you could ever have. There is all this thing that gets painted about being an entrepreneur, about how you have to sacrifice, how you have to live with nothing, how it's so risky. I don't know if any of that is true. I think you become an entrepreneur because that's what you want to do. To me, being an entrepreneur is like a little kid, a four-year-old who first goes to play soccer. You know, that kid is so excited. That kid is not excited about which way he kicks the ball. It doesn't matter. Usually he lands up scoring the ball in the wrong side anyway. So winning and losing, I think, is a score that other people keep. A true entrepreneur is the one who just loves playing. The biggest leverage that you have in making this a better world is to actually create a lot of entrepreneurs.